Well, anytime we talk real estate, we always like to come to the pro. That is Stephen Delisle with Delisle Properties. And today we're talking about, you know, how 2023 ended, how 2024 is starting as you're looking to buy and sell a home. Stephen, always good to see you. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So tell us, how did uh, 2023 end and what are you already seeing in 2024? Yeah. So 2023, we were blessed to have the best year in the business so far and moving into 2024. We're having a lot of conversations with buyers and sellers right now because i don't know if you noticed the rates went down the most that we've seen in the last two years so at least for the moment houses are more affordable and that's good news yes that's good news when good you're news. in the business that steven is in and a lot of people are looking to buy and sell right now so we're going to be talking a little bit later about some of the advice you would give them and that's the most valuable uh, part of this if you had to look inside your delisle properties crystal ball and say what's what is trending what are the things happening in 2024 what, what are you what are you seeing coming down the pipeline yeah so i'd say let's talk about a little bit of the numbers so these numbers are presented to us by the greater greenville association of realtors and if you look at the new listing slide it'll show us that we are down 1.8% in new listings on the market this year as opposed to last year. Okay. If you look at the average price slide, it shows us that we are up 4.2% this year as opposed to last, making the average price just over $371,000. The close sales slide will show us that we are down 8.1% uh, this year as opposed to last, and the average days on market actually went up 70%, making the average days on market over 46 days. So the one thing I want to note is part of the reason that the closed sales is not through the roof is because we don't have the inventory for it. Yeah, you're talking about how the inventory went down as opposed to this time last year. So right. fewer homes out there. but it means uh, less houses selling, yeah. Yeah, and so people that are looking to do buy or sell right now, what do they need to know? They get they get to have your ear for a little bit and say, yeah. hey, what should we do right now? What should we be doing to, to buy or sell in 2024? So it's a good question. In 2023, we watched the uh, interest rates continue to climb throughout the entire year, and yet Greenville still appreciated in value. And we still don't have enough enough inventory to feed our local market. Even with the interest rates continuing to increase, Greenville as a whole increased 4.8% last year. Now let's fast forward to today. For example, last week I locked somebody in for an interest rate of 5.99%, nice. which massively increased their buying power. You have to remember for every 1% decrease in the rates, 10% increase is gained by the buying power of that purchaser. So we're having a lot of conversations with buyers right now that are seeing a house and they can actually afford it and they want that house. It's also helpful to note that we only have three months of inventory right now. And I've said it before on here that in even market, for every one buyer, there's one seller exists at six months. We're still massively below that at three months. I mean, that's important information. I love that equation. I never knew about how the interest rate imp impacted buying power and really giving Definitely. you the power to get more house deal. for your for that interest rate, which is Absolutely. fantastic. You always like to say that a real estate is local, not national. So when the folks are thinking about looking at these trends and these numbers, it's mm -hmm. good to come and talk to you and your team because you guys live right here in this community and you understand yeah. how the community is growing and things like that. For folks that are thinking about taking that first step in 2024 or buying and selling, easy to reach out to you guys, give you a call and say, hey, Steven, I need you to help me out. Yeah, one thing I wanna say, some advice, if you will, is if you're even thinking about making a move this year, go ahead and talk to and reach out to a local knowledgeable real estate agent that understands what you're looking to purchase, whether it's land, new construction, resale, doesn't matter. Because what I'm finding every single week is that not a lot of people know this information. So you want to capitalize on it before prices go up and other things happen. Because more people that understand what's going on right now, more buyers in the market means more competition, multiple offers again, and rising prices. So go ahead and reach out to somebody and let's say, look, you don't want to buy a resale house. I understand. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, laundry list of new new uh, construction builders that are in the market right now that I partner with, and they've got not only huge closing cost incentives, anywhere from $7,500 to $15,000 to help you with closing costs, and they give you a lower interest rate as well. So let's just have a conversation, see if it makes sense for us to help you through that entire process. It always starts with a conversation and you wanna to talk to a guy who knows this stuff and Steven is that guy. DelisleProperties.com is the website you need to go to check it out. We'll be sure to put it at our website, yourcarolina.tv. Best of luck with everything in 2024. You as well. Big Thanks. money, big money. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. <laughs>